Hi guys. Welcome to Science Info District. Let's see. UK's Top Submarines The UK has been involved in several conflicts throughout history, including World War I, World War II, the Falklands War, the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan. In terms of the importance of submarines for the UK, submarines play a vital role in the UK's national security strategy. The UK's nuclear-powered submarines are part of the country's nuclear deterrent, which is designed to deter potential adversaries from attacking the UK with nuclear weapons. UK has decommissioned most of its submarines. Here are top Royal Navy submarines currently in service. Before we start, please click subscribe and press bell icon. 4. Trafalgar Class Submarine The Trafalgar Class is a class of nuclear-powered fleet submarines, SSNs, in service with the Royal Navy and the successor to the Swiftsa class. Like the majority of Royal Navy nuclear submarines, all seven boats were constructed at Barrow and Furnace Shipyard, Cumbria. With only one boat remaining active and in commission as of now, and six retired from the seven originally in service, the class makes up part of the Royal Navy's nuclear-powered hunter-killer submarine force. The Trafalgar class has nearly been replaced by the larger and more capable Astute class, of which five are commissioned. The name Trafalgar refers to the Battle of Trafalgar fought between the Royal Navy and the combined fleets of France and Spain in 1805. The Trafalgar class were designed in the early 1970s during the Cold War as a refinement of the preceding Swiftsa class. Trafalgar class submarines have length of 280 feet with speed of 56 kilometers per hour. It can achieve depth of 1,900 feet and has endurance of 90 days depending on food supplies. Three, Vanguard class submarine. The Vanguard class is a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines (SSBNs) in service with the Royal Navy. Two, the class was introduced in 1994 as part of the Trident nuclear program and comprises four vessels named as Vanguard, Victorious, Vigilant, and Vengeance. The Vanguard class were designed in the early 1980s by the Ministry of Defense, acting in one of its last Royal Navy Warship Design Authority roles. They were designed from the outset as nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, able to accommodate the UGM-133 Trident II missiles. These are the largest submarines ever built for the Royal Navy. The Vanguard class submarines are equipped with 16 ballistic missile tubes. However, as of the 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review, the Royal Navy loads only eight of the missile tubes each armed with up to eight nuclear warheads. With length of 491 feet it is speed of 46 kilometers per hour. With test depth of 1,640 feet, it has 90 days underwater endurance depending on food supplies. 2. Astute Class Submarine The Astute Class Submarine is a nuclear-powered attack submarine that is currently in service with the Royal Navy. It is known for its advanced sensors and weapon systems, as well as its stealth capabilities. The first Astute Class nuclear-powered attack submarine was commissioned with the Royal Navy in 2010. So far seven boats of the class are planned. These will replace the older Swiftsa class attack submarines. The Astute class boats are significantly stealthies and carry more weapons than the previous boats of Trafalgar class. 
The astute class boats are significantly stealthies and carry more weapons than the previous boats of Trafalgar class. The Tomahawk Block 4 land attack cruise missiles have a range of 1,700 kilometers and can target enemy ships as well as land targets. The Astute class are designed to achieve a top speed of 54 to 56 kilometers per hour with max depth of 980 feet. With length of 318 feet and 3 inches, it has 90 days underwater endurance depending on food supplies. One, Dreadnought class submarine. The Dreadnought class is the future replacement for the Vanguard class of ballistic missile submarines. Like their predecessors, they will carry Trident 2D5 missiles. Four, the Vanguard submarines entered service in the United Kingdom in the 1990s with an intended service life of 25 years. Their replacement is necessary if the Royal Navy is to maintain a continuous at-sea deterrent, CASD, the principle of operation behind the Trident system. Provisionally named successor, being the successor to the Vanguard class SSBNs, it was officially announced in 2016 that the first of class would be named Dreadnought and that the class would be the Dreadnought class. It will be having length of 504 feet. With speed of 46 kilometers per hour, it will be able to dive 1,640 feet down in the sea. It will have 90 plus days underwater endurance depending on food supplies. Overall, submarines play a critical role in the UK's national security and defense strategy both in terms of their nuclear deterrent capabilities and their ability to project power and influence around the world. Do you think UK has the most advanced submarine technology in the world? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting videos.